I'm Henry Ward. I'm principal oboe of the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra. I started playing the oboe when I was about 14 years old. Uh, prior to that, my grandmother was a beginner's piano teacher for me, and she learned very early on when I was playing piano with her when I was like five years old that there was some talent there. So I ended up going to a different teacher, a more advanced teacher, and I got pretty good at piano at a very young age. I was always very into music as a kid. I joined a boys choir in Philadelphia, and we actually did a lot of touring uh, with them overseas for a month at a time. So I got really into like the performance bug as a kid, having all that excitement as a performer. Once I retired, they call it retiring from the choir when your voice changes. Um, I was like 13 years old. I wasn't quite sure where to go with that. I, I was a good piano player, but I was not the right. Um, it, it didn't make sense to do that as a, to try to do that as a career. So I picked up the oboe. Um, no one else was playing it in school. And my first teacher lived like a half a block away from where I grew up. It was actually just very convenient to have lessons with him. And he was a great teacher for me. I studied with him for most of high school. At that point, um, I knew that music was going to be my career. I just didn't know in what, in what vessel, how I was going to do it. Um, luckily, I was able to get into a good school, the New England Conservatory of Music in Boston, for my undergraduate school. And in the rest is history. I've now been in Buffalo Philharmonic for about six years, and I've been enjoying it ever since. So with the oboe, um, I have to make my own reeds. So the reed is a double reed, which means it's two pieces of cane vibrating together and I have to literally carve with knives the, the, the cane down, whittle down to a very thin length to be able to make a sound that I blow through the two of them that vibrate together. I did not realize when I was going to college for oboe performance that I was also getting a degree in woodworking, which I really, it comes down to that a lot. Sometimes I spend a lot more time making reeds than I do practicing. It's a fine balance. You need a good reed to be able to practice, you need to be able to be playing well to have a good read. So trying to find the balance between the two is a challenge that I enjoy, but it can be frustrating at times for sure. Um, but I still, even with all the challenges of the instrument, I really do enjoy playing the oboe a lot. And sometimes I actually do enjoy making reads, not all the time, but once in a while, so. <laughs> playing with the BPO is, is so magical. My colleagues, there's so much talent on stage. It's, it's wonderful playing with them. Also, we are so lucky to be playing in Kleinhans Music Hall, which I think is one of the best halls in the world. I've played in several halls, and I, I really, I think it's underrated. I think it, people need to know more about this hall. I think it's incredible. Not just the architecture, but the acoustics is just really great and fun to learn and play in here. Um, I really enjoy that, and I think that we really play some amazing concerts. We really step it up for concerts and performances. Um, and I really just love that about playing in the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra.